Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining me for this Facebook Live, not live tonight. Remember, I am gone and I wanted to provide you with your Sunday night entertainment because you guys are so sweet to me. I didn't want to let you down. I've just got a few things I'm going to share with you before we start making the projects because of course there's nobody to welcome because... This isn't live. Um, and I can't see any comments because nobody's making any. So I'm just going to do a couple announcements. Please make sure you share my video. If you go back to Facebook, I think you can share it on there. You can also share it on YouTube. And um, I'm not going to have giveaways tonight because that's so much more fun in person. So we're going to wait until the 20... Ooh. We're looking into February right now. February 3rd, I will be live again at 7 p.m. Um, one thing I wanted to correct with you guys, I told you that I was going to have a um, that Butterfly Gala online class coming out um, in February, and that, that was an error. The class that I have, the online class I have that will be coming out in February is the Floral Romance. And let me see if I can find that for you guys real quick here. It is the most amazing, beautiful bundle ever. This one. And of course, it's going to be backwards if there's any words, but there it is. This is the bundle that I'm going to be um, making an online class for soon. So I just wanted to correct that. Uh, I don't think I have any other announcements, but as you guys know, I am away for a much needed little five day getaway. We're down in Arizona and um, I hope it's warm there and I'm pre-recording this before we leave. So tonight is the night that we're supposed to get 10 inches of snow <laughs> and please keep your fingers crossed that I actually got out of town because I'm hoping that we don't have any flight delays tomorrow. We're flying directly out of our hometown Appleton to um, Mesa, Arizona. So I hope that goes off without a hitch. Uh, tonight I am going to be sharing with you one of our beautiful card kits and I haven't even actually opened it yet. So you're going to get to see... Um, right from the beginning. I didn't take it out and figure it out and look at it, but I'm hoping that goes well for me. <laughs> and it isn't too um, tedious for you. But I'm thinking I'll be okay. I've got my stamps mounted and my ink pads out, so we should be ready to roll as soon as I crack this baby open. Then, if there's time, because I don't know how long this is going to take me, but if there's time, I have a home decor project to show you. Um, that I think you guys are going to just love. It's a really cute gift idea. You can make it for a gift. You can make one for yourself and display it in your own home. So I've got a couple really great things. If I don't get to the home decor item, I'll let you know, obviously. But um, I'll do it when I get back. So, okay, I think I'm going to flip my phone around now. And we're going to get started on this amazing card kit. Hang on. Here we go. Let me get this down in here. Now, of course, as always, if you'd like to place an order, this is my host code. You can go right to my blog at this address. And in the right-hand column, there's an online ordering button where you can click and go right to my store. You're going to use this code when you check out. It's going to ask you if you have a host code. So you're going to use that code. That'll get you some special perks with me. I have the Incredible Like You Project Kit, and I have to tell you that one of my friends and demonstrators um, actually brought this to one of our last stamping events, and she had all the cards made up, and it was just incredible, just like it says on the cover, incredible. So I'm going to open this puppy up. This is how our kits come. So there's a piece of cardboard in here to keep everything safe and unbent. But then you have this, 
And then we get into what your kit includes, some tips for you. It says you can use adhesive dots in the kit or multi-purpose glue sold separately to adhere the twine to the card. Multi-purpose glue works best to adhere glimmer paper to other pieces and use three rhinestones on each card. So it gives you step-by-step -step what you need to do. Stampin' Lovely Lipstick, Stampin' Coastal Cabana, adhere with the glue, adhere with dimensionals, adhere adhesive dots, tie bow and adhere, loop twine and adhere, and add rhinestones. Sounds pretty simple, right? <laughs> Let's hope so. The additional items needed are Coastal Cabana, yay, and Lovely Lipstick, woohoo, and Multipurpose Glue. I am ready to rock. Coordinating colors are Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Grapefruit Grove, and Lovely Lipstick in White. So, and they say there's also a video that you can watch about this kit, but I didn't watch the video, so we're going to wing it. But... We have this in several different languages because you know that Stampin' Up! is global. So it's um, it looks like German and maybe French and um, Japanese. And then look at the pictures. So it tells you, one, two, three, da-da-da, exactly what to do for all of these cards. And can I just say that these cards made me gasp when I saw them. So this card kit is on page 21 in the Occasions mini catalog. That's this one. Now, if you're new to me or you just started watching me you um, and you don't have this catalog, pop me an email at kelly at a stamp If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be happy to earn your business. And I would be happy to mail you. Lots of happy going on here. I'd be happy to mail you one of these catalogs. And um, it's funny because I am actually recording this on a private group that my daughter is a member of. So it's just me and her in this private Facebook group. That's how I can do this. And she just popped out and said, stamp class, question mark. I am doing my Facebook Live for Sunday since we will be in Arizona, Haley. So that's what's happening here. Okay, um, let's get started with this card kit. I'm just going to set that cardboard aside. Here are the glue dots they're talking about and the rhinestone. So we're just going to kind of do a little inventory. We have these tags. Yep, there's two sheets of them. We have, oh my gosh, look at this. These are glitter die cuts. So we'll get to that. And then, oh, I'm going to be sparkling. Oh, did you guys see my nails? I got my nails done today. Woohoo! Oh, I think my low power is on. Let me plug in my phone here. Urgh, I don't want any low power. There we go. Okay, we should be good now. Hang on, let me... I'm going to have to move my phone to get rid of this. So hang with me. Okay, there we go. We don't want any problems with this because I honestly... <laughs> I'm really running behind today and I don't have time to re-record this. So I hope it goes through. <sighs> okay, we have some more die cut. These are all die cut labels. Those are cute. Ooh, and here's our card bases. So let me grab these. <gasps> Look at how pretty they are. Holy cow. This is going to be one of our card bases. Look at that. Love. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. And then we have some die cut elements. These are like laser cut. So that's really pretty. Some more cards here. Oh, and I think I'm going to have to keep these lined up the way they are. So don't like spread everything out. Keep these together with the cards. Um, let me look at this. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see as we get into this. And here's this one. And this one goes with those. Okay. That's what was confusing me. Here's some green pieces. That goes with the leafy cutouts, which are right here. Okay. Look at how pretty those are. Now, you get to make four of each of these cards in this kit. Oh, and look at here's all the dimensionals. And this, look at this cute thing. This is a gift container or just a container to hold your cards. And all you do is push it out like this and all your cards are going to, hang on, let me, I need to fold this right here. All your cards are gonna fit right into here and it's going to snap shut just like that. Isn't that cool? 
yeah, well, it'll do better once the cards are in there. It's kind of scrunched up right now. Let me manhandle it a little bit. <laughs> Gotta show it to his boss. There we go. That is very cool. Look at that, how pretty that is. Okay, so I am going to get started here and I'm gonna read my instructions. It says number one, three, four, six, and eight. So I'm gonna go right here. One, Stampin' Lovely Lipstick. Okay, so we're gonna bring these labels in. Let me get one of my piercing mats here. I'm going to set my dimensionals aside and my envelopes. Oh, look at the fun envelopes. Yay. They have stripes on them, which is really pretty. We're going to bring this in. And this is going to be the label we're using for our first card. And that's stamped in lovely lipstick. And of course, you can do these any way that you want to. I'm just going to do them how the kit shows. And I'm going to stand up so I can get these straight. One, two, three, and four. So there, I've already I've stamped everything for four cards. So that's cool. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Then I'm going to bring in, let's see, where Hang on, I gotta think about this a little bit. Here are the leafy things. Here are the tags. I need, I'm missing something here, hang on. Here it is. This is what I was looking for. Nope, that goes with this set of laser cuts. I'm just gonna set that over to the side. I've got these that go with this one. Did I set something someplace else? I see where those other ones went oh here they are sorry they're right here hello okay first thing I'm gonna do here I'm gonna take one of my card bases I'm gonna set the rest off to the side I'm only gonna make one of these cards for you live because um, you know you make the other three the same way right so we're gonna take this and then we're going to bring in one of these die cut circles and we're going to add this right to the middle here. Just like this. Then we're going to put this behind it. And of course you can use the glue dots that come with it, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape and I think that'll work really good for me. You can do it however you'd like. The idea behind these kits is that you don't need a lot of supplies. So if you're a new stamper, this is perfect for you. These also make amazing gifts, you guys, because all you need is um, like the couple ink pads and you're ready to rock. Okay, here comes my dimensionals. One and two. I'm just going to, I got three here, so I'm going to set this one aside. And add this right to the middle. Yep, I think we're good. And then I need some of this twine. Let me close this up so I don't dunk my hand in it. Um, here comes the twine. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know that I hope that I am having a great weekend too. <laughs> you never know, right? It's like, well, she could be having a good weekend or a crummy weekend. Here's what I hope doesn't happen. I hope that, I think you're supposed to measure this twine. Let me see. Um, number six. It says 12 inches, so I'm pretty sure I'm good here. Um, my husband, I hope this is what doesn't happen. I hope that we don't get so much snow that he goes out and snow blows and then is like exhausted or something before we leave on our trip or hurts his knee or anything else. Cause you know, he's a little bit fragile. 
hate to say it, but it's, it's the truth. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this to the front of our card. And you guys, this is just phenomenal. Look at how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Now, it said the coordinating colors for Grapefruit Grove. So I think I'm going to bring my Grapefruit Grove in here. And I am going to stamp this pretty little flower on the inside just for a little accent here. So th this is a two-step stamping process. Try to get these lined up. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. And that's just the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Okay, there's card number one. Now, card number two is the, I think this is my favorite. And it's just my favorite because I love that it looks like oranges. <laughs> I could be totally wrong on this. But we're going to bring in one of these card bases and one of these laser cut dies. I'm going to set this off to the side. Let me find my other stuff I need to set, a, set aside also. I want to keep these together so that when I make up the rest of them, and I will make up the rest of them, I'm going to be bringing these to my stamp classes to show people. Because looking at a picture in a catalog just doesn't do some of the stuff justice. You really have to see it and touch it and feel it and smell it and don't look it. <laughs> okay, so we've got this. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. It just fits right on there. I'm going to add some liquid glue just a little bit here and there to some of the bigger spots where I can get glue in good. And the edge. And right here and right here. So super simple. Look at that. It's already totally amazing. Okay, now it says we need 20 inches of the string. Oh, let me get this out of the way here. So I'm going to take, I've got my ruler out here, and I've got 12 and 12 and 8, right, is 20. <laughs> so you would cut out 20 of these. So you would cut one, and then you're going to do this and cut another one until you have four pieces like this. Now, we are going to take one of the circles here. And these are also stamped in lovely lipstick. And this has the one that says, I just adore you. So I'm going to stand up again so I can get this on here decent. And I'm just going to stamp up all of them because I've got my stamp on and my ink out. And it's easy, right? That's the whole point behind these kits is it makes it super easy. Okay, so there's my I adore you. I just adore you going to pull one of those out and then it wants me to take one of these banners and again they're all die cut for you so that's cool the banner goes behind my layer here so I think I'll use another one of these oops I took the whole glue dot off one of these glue dots Let's see if I can get it on there. And another one. I know I showed I showed you guys my nails, right? Well, I saw this color and I thought, mm, that looks just like lovely lipstick. <laughs> That's why I picked it. And look at this, I'm making lovely lipstick cards tonight. So that's kind of cool, right? Lovely lipstick. Okay, I'm picking the backing off of these. And again, these glue dots are included in the kit. So I'm just going to add this right here. And then I see that it's got one of these yellow striped labels behind it. Oops, I've got a glue dot stuck to my finger. Hang on, let me get that out of there. And this is put on here just like this. So I think what I'm going to do is, did you guys see my dimensionals? Where did they go? Oh, here they are. I'm going to add some of these dimensionals. And I'm going to put one right here. Yep. And 
another one right here. And we'll just leave those like that. Now we're gonna take this 20 inches. Well, I am gonna pull the back off. I changed my mind. Girls can do that, right? <laughs> Okay, so here I'm going to do this, and then I'm just going to wind this around here. I want it to be kind of random. I might need to put some more dimensionals in, but don't worry because Stampin' Up! gives you a ton of them. See how I covered them up with the string? Yeah, so I think I'm going to add at least, I'm going to put one here and one here. And I think that'll do the trick. Just like this. Yep, that looks good. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to put this on the front of our card. And I think, whoops, hang on, my string's coming out here. I don't want that to happen. I want it to stay in there. Okay. Mm. There we go. I think I'm just going to adhere this down with some glue. And I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on there because it needs to like catch all this, the laser cut and the whole deal. So I'm going to set this right down here. <gasps> Isn't that cute? Super pretty. And now this uses a lot of grapefruit grove again, so I think I'm going to come in with my flower and I'm going to stamp another grapefruit grove incredible like you flower in there. And isn't that oh so pretty? Okay, so card number two. And next we are going to do this one. Let me get that ink pad out of the way. Oh, you know what? I forgot something on this one. This is where the rhinestones come in. So let's let's unveil those puppies. Anytime I have a chance to put rhinestones on a card, mm, diamonds are a girl's best friend. I am in. So here we go. We're just going to add a little rhinestone right there. And that's all they show on this card, but I forgot to put some on here too. And isn't that just cute? Look how cute that is. This is just adorable. All right, and then I'm gonna add three rhinestones on this one, I forgot. I had all this glitter bling glowing on, going on that I didn't even see that there were rhinestones on this one. And this is just gonna take that bling factor to a new level, right? Look at that. So, so pretty. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next card. And that's going to be this doozy. And holy cow, it's got rhinestones too. Look at these pretty flowers. Isn't that just incredible? <laughs> yeah, that's why they call it incredible like you. Okay, this part goes right over this. Unreal. Oh, I see there's a little piece stuck there. So I want to make sure that I have it the right way. There we go. So we are going to glue this on here. I'm just gonna put a little, let me make sure I'm in my camera. A little bit of glue on the edge here, some right here, some on this edge, maybe a little bit there. You don't have to get too crazy with the glue. Your card's not going any place, right? And then we're gonna stick this. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this, you guys? Ah, uh, absolutely gorgeous. All right, then we have some things to do. So we are going to stamp some images. This time we're gonna use the Coastal Cabana. And we're gonna stamp the one that says, hope your day is as amazing as you. And that goes in this little die cut. And one more up here. Make sure I got that inked up good. Mm, beautiful. 
Okay, we're just going to pop one of these out. And we need another one of the green banners over here. So I'm going to pull one of those out. I'm going to use some of these Um, hmm. let's see. I'm going to use a couple little glue dots. I could have used glue, so no reason for that. I just was like, eh, glue dots. That'll work fine. Um, we're going to put this right in the center. Just like this. Okay. Then I'm going to add some dimensionals losing my dimensionals you guys do you see oh here they are <laughs> I know you can't answer me but it's fun asking anyways isn't it here comes some dimensionals for this little layer and you're like Kelly you just set your dimensionals someplace again and now you're not going to be able to find them and you know what you're probably right <gasps> this doesn't fit I did something wrong so if I would have read the instructions this is a little tip for this, I bet. Or are there two different sizes? Oh yeah, there's two different sizes, you guys. These are bigger. I didn't notice that. Okay, so pay close attention to that. Now I'm just gonna use glue. We'll add this right in here. Pay attention to what you're doing, Kelly. Okay. And then this is gonna fit. I'm like, what happened? Oh, how pretty is that, you guys? Then we need some of this twine and it says 12 inches of twine. So I'm gonna take 12 inches, oops, and cut that. And then I'm gonna tie a bow There we go. It's a nice little bow. And then we're going to add it with the, one of the glue dots. So let me grab one of those. And we're going to put that right down in here. Take the paper off. So see, they're very generous with the supplies in here. So you don't really actually need 12 inches, but I think that's pretty cool, isn't it? Then I am going to get my chamois out here, <clears throat> excuse me, and clean off my stamp because I think now I would like the um, lovely lipstick to be my flower. And I'm going to stamp that in here. Oh, you know what? I think instead I am going to do some of these stripes. Look how pretty that is. That's just a neat little embellishment. Now I wonder if I could stamp a flower. I'm going to try it. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to stamp a flower here and then do this two-step part. Oh, how cute is that? Ta -da! There we go. Oh, we can't forget the rhinestones. See, now if I was on live with you guys, you'd be like, Kelly, don't forget the rhinestones, right? You'd be helping a sister out. All right, here we go. Here's another rhinestone. And there's our third amazing card. These are so pretty. All right, on to the fourth one. So that must use these leaves because we haven't used those yet. And I am correct. Okay. So our fourth one uses this lattice and one of these card bases. So let me move these off to the side now. Set that over there. These are already scored for you, by the way. I just burnish them because I'm kind of anal like that, but you wouldn't really have to. Now we're gonna add this lattice. So I'm just gonna put 
some glue around this outside edge. This would be a good place to use your sponge in the glue like I've shown you before. But sometimes I'm lazy, <laughs> not gonna lie, and I just do it. So there we go. Look at how pretty that is. All right, now we need to stamp these four remaining labels. And we are going to use the Coastal Cabana with the So Glad We Are Friends. And here comes. I'm going to stamp all four of them because, like I said, when I'm done with this live, not tonight, mind you, I have to go pack. But when I'm done, I am going to finish the rest of these cards so I can take them to my events, show everybody how beautiful they are. Okay, so here comes one of our labels. And I'm going to set these aside now and bring this in here and take a look at what we need to do. So we need some leaves. And we've got lots of leaves back here. So we've got solid leaves and we've got leaves that are not solid. Okay, so here's a solid one. Here is a not solid one. And what I mean by that is the insides of the leaves come out. Hang on, let me. And you do have to be kind of gentle with these because, you know, they're laser cut, so they're pretty delicate. But um, I'm not being overly gentle, and they're not falling apart in my hands. That's what I want to say is, you know, they're pretty sturdy. Okay, so we've got two of these. We need two more, so I'm going to pull out another one here. Because our glimmer paper is pretty sturdy, that's nice. I should save this glimmer paper because we don't even have it in this color. But I love this lime green. Get these little pieces out of here. Um, you guys can take a drink while I'm doing this. <laughs> and you're going, gee, she's bossy even when she's not even live. <laughs> I hope you guys are giggling with me. I just hate to make you sit and watch something that's kind of tedious. I like to have a lot of the stuff done ahead of time for that very reason. And I think I'm going to grab one more set of the solid leaves because it almost looks like there's three of them in there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start attaching these things to the back of my greeting label. Okay, and I just want to make sure they're going to fit on the card, right? You don't want to have them sticking off so far that they won't fit in an envelope. And I'm just going to do that. Now, you could use mini glue dots. You could use probably maybe liquid glue would probably work. Again, I just want to make sure. Oh, see, that's, see how that's sticking off the side of my card? <coughs> that's not going to work. We're going to pay attention to stuff like that. So... I'm going to lay this down here. This is a better way to do it, Kelly. I'll just lay this down here like this and bring in my label. There we go. I'll do the same thing with this one. I'll just put some tape on the back here, just like that. And let's get that out of the way. I'll bring it in here. Well, now I'm just kind of turning into a cluster here. Hang on. That looks good to me. Okay. And then we're going to do one on each side. So I'm going to do one here. And, ooh, so we need six for each one, you guys. So great. Now I'm going to poke these out again. So if I tell you to take another drink, if you guys are drinking adult beverages, I want you to be careful with your consumption. <laughs> We are not going to have drunk stamping tonight. That can maybe be for another night, but not on this night. Because I want to be live to hear all about that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now Kelly's got it together. Like I said, I've never done this kit before. Okay, so, and this is really showing you how incredibly easy this is. If I can sit here and show you guys how to make something that I've never touched, right? So that's kind of cool. I'll just add that. I need to make 
be careful with this one so that it doesn't go off the edge. That's what I'm goofing around here with. Well, then Kelly, you're saying, why don't you put a piece of tape on it like you did the other pieces, lay it on your card, and add your label. Yeah, just like that. Don't be a knucklehead. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing. So now that I've found a rhythm, I'll put tape on that one, and a little tape on this one, and we'll set these in here too. Just like a little bit more. There we go. Just like that. Did you see how like aggressive I was with that? <laughs> kind of just slammed it right in there. And then just like that. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I need some more tape back here. I don't know what happened, but something got goofy. Okay. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. All right, now we're gonna add dimensionals. Sorry that took so long. Um, probably all of what, three minutes? So it just seems like it's taking a long time to me because I like for things to just move right along. And I have to remember sometimes to have better patience. That's why I hate getting my nails done because I sit there and I do nothing for hours on end and it, it couldn't bore me more. Like, most people love to go, oh, they love to get pampered, and oh gosh, I just dread it. I wish somebody would come and just do my nails while I was sleeping. <laughs> okay, now we need some um, some of our baker's twine here. And it looks like it says 15 inches, so we're going to do 12, 13, 14, 15. And we're going to cut that off, and again, I would cut off three of these. Or four, I mean, because we need 15 inches four times. And I'm going to do this. I'm just going to put this on my page here. And use some tape. Hang on, my crown was falling off. <laughs> we can't have that. We're going to do this and hope that it's going to stay right under... Oops, under our label. There we go. It's not pretty under there. That's gonna work perfect. Okay, so here comes our label. And now we have some other things. Oh, look how pretty that is. Then we have flowers. And I'm gonna bring in three of these cute little flowers. And I'm going to add one of them right to my label. I just heard my husband talking, and I'm wondering who he's talking to. Maybe the cat. <laughs> I hope so. It's funny because my daughter, um, Haley, bought a, me an Echo Dot for Christmas. And oh, I don't like that up there. And, um, oh, look, I pulled the sticky right off the back of that thing. Hang on, i got to get a new dimensional. She bought me an Echo Dot for Christmas, and that's the thing where you talk to Alexa. And so I gave it to my husband, and I said, here, make this thing work. Like, get it all ready to roll. So it's actually, fit, it's um, programmed to his phone. And so it's kind of cool. We've been having a lot of fun with it because, um, We'll just say, Alexa, add bread to the grocery list. So I could tell Alexa to add whatever I want to the grocery list, and it actually goes to his phone, to his grocery list. <laughs> so he'll get to the grocery store, and he'll open up his grocery list on his phone, and he's like, where did all this stuff come from? <laughs> and sometimes Alexa gets a little confused, because I said to add, um, oh, I wanted some honey, nut, and oats granola to go in my yogurt and Alexa put oats, granola, and then honey as a separate item. So Steve came home with a <laughs> with a bottle of honey, which we didn't need because we have lots of honey. I'm like, why are you buying that? <laughs> he says, Alexa told me to buy it. So kind of funny. We've been having fun with her. And then um, two of the kids got Steve for his birthday 
an electric garbage can. So have you guys seen these things? It's hysterical. You wave your hand over it and the lid pops up. So you just go like this, the lid pops up, you throw your garbage in and it closes after a couple seconds. <laughs> so like, boy, are we high tech here in the old Atchison household. <laughs> but we are having fun with um, Alexa. And um, I, I really enjoyed it. Cause, and then Steve will say, Alexa, what time are the football games on today? Um, Alexa, what's the joke of the day? I mean, you can ask her just about anything. And one time he got mad at her because she didn't understand what he was saying. And he said something to her, and I don't really remember what it was. But anyway, she said, gosh, I thought we could still be friends. <laughs> How funny. Okay, you guys, look at these beautiful cards, all part of the Incredible Like You Project Kit. Now, when you order the kit, you can, of course, use other greetings if you wanted to, but... If, also, if you want to, I highly encourage you to order the stamp set. And then you can order as many refills as you want to of these of these cards. Now, I'm going to take my envelopes here and look at these cute stripes that match every one of these cards. They're so pretty. But you can get refills for these kits. And um, you guys saw the card that I shared a couple weeks ago using the stamp set. It was beautiful. It got so many comments. Everybody just loved it. Well, you could make all those beautiful cards and these beautiful cards. Or if you have a new friend, you could buy them this kit with a stamp set and a couple ink pads. Or you could buy a pack of ink spots. You guys know what those are? These are ink spots. You get five of them in a pack and you could put ink in them in the lovely lipstick and the Coastal Cabana and give them as a gift to a friend. That would be awesome. These are great whether you are a seasoned stamper or a beginner, because I know people who like to go camping and go on trips, they like to take stuff with them to do. This is the perfect thing to take. Um, you can stamp up your images ahead of time and then take it with you and put them together, or you can bring a few stamps in your in your camper or your luggage, right? I would think so. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff put away now so that I can show you the home decor item because I think we're doing okay on time and I really wanted to show that to you. So hang tight, take a drink of your beverage. Now everybody's gonna be saying, oh, that Kelly, she's just encouraging everybody to drink, drink, drink. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. I'm going to put all my supplies for right now back in here, and then I'll put them in a Ziploc bag because I kind of destroyed my wrapper. But I want to make sure I keep my directions with this, and everything should fit right back in here. I'll also put the cards back in here. Oh, here's the envelopes. Of course, I can't close this right now, but I'm not really looking to close it. I just want to package everything up so I don't lose anything and clean up my mess here a little bit. Because I, oh, I gotta keep this too. Set that right in there. All right, let me get rid of my bits and pieces. This next project that I have to show you guys is really quite easy and I think you're gonna love it. You may have seen it online before because it was going around back at Christmas and it was a project that um, we did with our um, Christmas uh, stamp camp. Here we go. I'm setting all these right in here. Let me get the stamp set out of the way here too. We did the projects with our Christmas stamp camp, but I've got a new element to share. So if you were at the Christmas stamp camp, you already have one of these. If you weren't, I'll tell you how to make one. And um, if you were at the Christmas stamp camp, I'm going to show you a new one that you can make to add to it. So I think you'll really like that. All right, let me get my stuff out here. Here we go. I am going to bring in my bits and pieces. And then I have all these dies. And these are from the, um, is it called the meant to be mine? The be mine die set, I believe, and the forever lovely 
and the lovely flowers. So there's a stamp set called Forever Lovely. I didn't use that, but I used the, the die that goes with it. And oh my goodness, I'm pushing on something on my keyboard. Okay, so first of all, I am going to show you the item that I'm going to make first. So I'm going to make a Valentine insert for this piece of home decor. And then I'll show you the piece of home decor in a second. So I've got real red, some of our dazzling diamond shimmer paper, and some crumb cake. And I'm going to run the floral through on the crumb cake. I'm going to run this little flower, and it looks like this, through on the real red. I'm going to run this flourish through on the um, shimmer white, or dazzling diamonds white. Am I even in my screen? I hope so. I'm going to cut out a heart here, and I'm going to cut out a heart here. I'm going to run that all through my Big Shot, and of course through the magic of TV. I have already done all of that. I know I'm amazing, right? <laughs> it's just like magic, you guys. Okay, so now we're going to layer these together. Let me grab my glue. I'm going to put some glue just in the middle of this heart. And I'm going to add this right to the center of the bigger heart. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to this flower. And I'm going to put that right over here on the side, just like that. I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to put... Now notice I only put glue under the center of this big one so that I could tuck stuff under the side here. I just stuck some glue in there. So now I'm going to come in with this flower and I'm going to just add it just like that. Okay? This little piece is going to be a flourish coming off the side of our heart. And I want it just enough so it's sticking out like that. So we're going to come in with some good old tape. You know me and tape, we love each other. There it is. Okay. And last but not least, I'm going to make a linen triple bow. Now, for those of you that are new to me, you may never have seen me use this triple or this bow maker, but all it is is um, two nails and a piece of wood. These are an inch apart and then a half an inch for each other nail. And I'm going to do one, two, three, just like that. I've got my nails spaced, so there's one hole in between them. And then, I want to make sure I have enough here. You cross it over, push it under, bring it back up, and tie it in a single knot right here. And this is where you adjust that center. You can use this with ribbon, baker's twine, linen thread, whatever, whatever will fit on here. And there we have our triple bow. And this just makes a much substantial bigger substantial bow with the linen thread, which I love. And now Kelly is looking for her glue dots. I am going to, I'm going to wad up a glue dot and I'm going to stick that right up here at the top of my heart. I just felt like this linen thread would really pull together the crumb cake and make it, give it kind of a little vintage feel. I'm going to curl my ribbon just like you would curl. Um, ribbon. I'm curling my thread just like you would curl ribbon if you had ribbon. I want this to twist around that way. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is find, here it is, some Velcro. And then I'll show you what my project is. So I'm going to take a little bit of this Velcro and I need a piece about this big, and this is self-adhesive Velcro, and I'm going to stick it to this piece, and then trim that one also so it matches. So now we've got two pieces of Velcro here. 
I'm going to stick this. I guess I like to see what's happening. I'm going to stick this to the back of my heart, just like that. And let's see. I need to look at something for a second. Ta -da, ta -da. Here we go. Hang with me, you guys. I gotta check something out here. I think I might have forgot a step. Don't worry, we'll get it figured out. And here we go. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so this piece I don't need. That's why I had extra of that one, right? Yeah, so this 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 piece I don't need to use, so I'll just put that back with this. I can use this on something else. Now, here is the project that I'm going to share with you. <gasps> Look at that. So all you need are the large letter framelits to give you an H, an O, or an H, an M, and an E. And like I said, we made these at our Christmas stamp camp for gift ideas. So we've got the H and then the pumpkin for the ball, the M and the E, just like this. These are mounted on dimensionals. And then the pumpkin, let me show you. By the way, these frames are from Ikea. This is plastic, so I kind of like that because glass is scary when you take it out of a frame. I, I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut myself. Here's the Ikea, and this is 14743 is the little skew number on it. It's a uh, five by seven frame. And then your piece here comes right off. And now for Valentine's Day, we can put this one in there and put that in our frame. And I'll, I'm gonna put this all back together. Now this was the mat. I always put everything back in here because it just helps stabilize your pictures and then this is going to go in here yep just like that pinch it now we have home decor for valentine's day or the whole month of february which is what i would do probably middle of january to you know past valentine's day and isn't that cute so here's one for fall and here are the other ones that everybody got to make at the stamp camp. We had the um, snowman for winter. Here's a summer one. Here's a spring one with the first frost. And then, of course, the pumpkin. And now the valentine. Yay! These are from the um, Be Mine framelits and the lovely flowers that go with Forever Lovely bundle. So all you do is just make up a little element. Notice that these have ovals behind them. They fit perfectly in here for each season. And these are taped on here because this was just a sample piece. But each one of these pieces would have the Velcro on the back, just like the pumpkin and just that one piece. So you can interchange all of these for the seasons. Love, love, love this idea. It was um, shared by a fellow demonstrator back in I think November, October, November, and oh my gosh, everybody just ran with it. So super cute. This would look great in anybody's house. All right, you guys, I think that's all I have for tonight. So I've given you a fabulous home decor idea. I've also got this beautiful, beautiful card kit called Incredible Like You. Gorgeous, gorgeous. If you guys would like to order the card kit or any of the other elements or anything that we sell for that matter, um, you can head right over to my blog, www.estampabub.com. I always appreciate your orders. Don't forget to share my video. Um, you'll get entered in a drawing to win free product when you share my video. You can share that on YouTube or Facebook. You can go back to the Facebook post and share that. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. That's always helpful. Let me know what you thought of my projects. I would love to hear from you. And I will be back on February 3rd at 7 p.m. Central Time with the Facebook Live. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. And thank you for joining me on my Facebook Live, not live. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.